Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Live Any Stamps and this is Jamie Jones who has joined me today. Yes. My favourite son. <laughs> Win by default, but we're... <laughs> um, So we are going to be creating this today. We haven't actually practiced this. I did create this, but Jamie hasn't at nope. all. Nope, going into it blind. Yeah. Right, let's get going. So we're going to be using our brand new mop brushes. So we've got three different sizes here. Mm -hmm. Mop brushes are great for any kind of watercolour painting because they hold a lot of water and they can give you an instant really nice background with very little effort. So you dip the brush in the colour and you roll it onto the card which is what I've done here. So I use the large one first, then the medium size, and then I use the small one for the darker area. I think it's quite effective. Mm. Um, but like I say, nice it's, it's really quite simple. So I'm going to do the first one. I'm going straight in with the yellow. Okay. This is the dinkles that we're using. And so what I'm going to do is just literally take that, pop it down on the card, I'm lifting it up at the edge but I'm just rolling it, okay. okay? And it just gives that really nice effect, yeah? I'm going to do it down here as well. So one is the reflection. We don't have to worry about the exact same shape, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you can go. You can go straight in with the yellow. Okay. Oh, unless you're using a different colour. Are you using a different colour? I go for yellow. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. It's been a while since I've been crafting. It has. It has. Right. Am I taking off first or no, just you don't, straight? No, don't need to. I'm quite scared. It's new. New product. A new experience. <laughs> okay. Just follow the edge of the card. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's easy this, isn't it? <laughs> oh, finally found a product for me. Could maybe do a little bit more, make it a bit wider because you've got another two colours coming in. Okay. It creates like a natural kind of hill. Edge, yeah. 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 Without thinking about it too much, yeah. the, brush, the brush kind of does it for you, doesn't it? There we go. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Right then. Okay, keep on going. I'll, I'll just... Okay, could you pass me the medium size yeah. brush? Thank you. And now I'm going to go in with mm -hmm. the... I think I'm going to use the pink. Okay, so you can use a different colour if you wish. Okay. Um, and then it's like the next roll now. So I'm just putting that over the mm, top. It's looking quite red. Well, it it does in this that's occasion. The... Oh, that's <laughs> not on the yellow. Okay. Just widening that up a little, and that's now ready for the sort of darker bit in between. Have you decided what colour you're going with? Hmm. What have we got? You've got the blue, your favourite colour. Oh, I might colour. go for blue. Yeah. Do you reckon blue, dragon or periwinkle? I feel like periwinkle is more of a night It's more of a sort of purpley blue. Okay. So maybe that one would be quite okay. nice because it would work with the yellow because it would probably go a little bit green. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, be brave. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's okay. fine. That's it's fine. fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. Oh, it kind of looks like the bushes are going. Kind of looks like the bushes are going at the edge. I think it's I put a bit too much. No, on the no, brush. it's good. It's good. It's gone green as well. It's just like if you're using a green, you wouldn't then put a blue, a light blue, sort of over the top. So you got to think about your colour combination. Okay. Because the when you put the black over the top of that now, mm -hmm. it won't be as intense. No, no. If you wanted to take some colour off, yeah. what do you think you'd do? 
uh, put water on it and... Well, you what you could do is actually get... I've not done this before, but I'm just guessing. Oh no, not on my way. <laughs> just roll. Okay, dry that off a little. But roll that and try and pick some colour back up and put it on to the tissue. I could, I could be totally wrong on this. I oh, know it is, it is, yeah. it definitely is. Look, you can Make see it, it's yeah. light, lighter green. So keep, keep taking it off on the tissue. Oh. You can dip, dip it in the clean water again. Gosh, you, you, you're going <laughs> to have no yellow left. <laughs> it's completely it's taking light. Over. It's taking over. Oh no. It is taking it off though. It's making it a little it bit is. lighter. Okay, I reckon I'll... I'm all over the place. <laughs> I don't know what to it's do. Fine, it's fine. Okay, right. If you dry that off, you could even put a bit of pan pastel over the top of that to make it a bit lighter, so mm. that you can see the stamped image. But let, let's like let's keep to it. yeah, let's keep working with it. Yeah. So, I'm going in with the Payne's grey now, but I am going to limit. What I'm yeah. putting on because I don't want it to bleed <laughs> like Jamie's. So I'm li I'm not rolling this. I'm literally just going to draw a line. Mm -hmm. And if I want it to be more intense, I just go over that same line. Mm. And slowly, it will kind of just bleed out a yeah. little. You could even dab a little. You wanted some areas a little bit higher. Yeah. Now I would suggest, seeing as that colour is quite dark, mm -hmm. I would suggest you also go with the Payne's yeah, Grey. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, it's a lot there. You ready for this? Yeah. I've got my own little just, technique. Just, just, it's good, it's good. Good technique. Thank you. Like it. Bit more. It's not very dark yet, is it? Okay. Bit more. Oh, there we go. No one talking. It's very dark. Here it will are. lighten. Okay. Let's get the dryer on these yeah. now. Because mine was very. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are you? Are you? I think that's dry. Yeah. I think so. Probably a smoothie would be good to to put that on. Mm. So you could go in with yellow or white or a bit of both even. A what? Bit of white, I reckon. A bit of white. Yeah. Okay. So just just pop a little over the top of that and let's see what happens. could do a little bit more if you wanted. Try not to dip at the... Um, I think that looks all right actually. It yeah, means it's going so. to stand out now when you stamp the trees. Probably on both sides, aren't you? Because on the walls. Yeah. There. Yeah. Or is the mist line on them? Well, I, I'm going to do a line now. Yeah. I'm going to use this. Um, you don't have to, but it just gives me an edge. Multi purpose. Yeah. Then good. I'm going to just do, just, just scribble it really, just make it a little bit thicker. So you could do the same. That's fine. Try and follow the edge of your card, make sure it's straight. Yeah? Yep. Does that come out okay? You need to just maybe mark it a bit slower. Not at high speed. The marker. There, yep. we go. there we go. Okay, so just thicken it up a little. 
So it makes it look a little bit more like, you know, it's in the distance, of little bushes and foliage and things. That's it. Bit of artistic license going on. Mm -hmm. Right, so we've got now, we've got some trees and some foliage. I picked a couple of inks here which I thought would work quite nice. Do you want a different colour or or are you happy with those? Uh, I'll go with Nocturne, it's night time isn't it I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with red and I'm gonna use the larger tree to start with. So I'm just gonna give you an idea of what I'm doing here. So I'd ink up in the red, I'm gonna pop that down on that water line, give it a good press because remember we are stamping onto very textured. Mm card. Yeah. I absolutely love this card. I love the texture yeah. in it. And if you do take your time with it, actually it does stamp fine. But just be patient. Yeah, it has done that. Yeah. Quite. Um it won't be as perfect as the multifarious card, no. but I don't think that's what you want on this card. I was you, gonna say it's not really that type of paper, is no, it? It's more you want more of a wash yeah. kind of thing. So you see what I've yeah. done there. So nice. I would then now go into a slightly different colour. So the twilight, I'd pick a smaller tree. Dragon warm breeze would work on it. No, it won't show up. Yeah. No. I think well, because well, your well. colours are quite dark, yeah. I think you need to stick to I think I think most of the colours are gonna look dark on that, to be honest. Yeah. Um anyway but that's fine okay i'll use nocturne then well you could use the twilight twilight might work okay okay try twilight i'm going to do a double image i think up there so um and then we're going to go with a tiny tiny tree I think I've got enough trees. Oh, I forgot about the houses as well. I forgot to tell you I've got some houses for us if we wanted to put a house Oh, no. oh I might do to be Yeah, sure. I might do now. <laughs> Copy me. I forgot, I forgot about my houses. So I'm going to put a house on there. Ah, oh, the only thing is with the house, think about it. Perspective. Oh, no, the thing's Reflection. on the wrong side, yeah. So what we can do Brea. is just go, no, we'll just go with one house. But then the chimney's on the wrong side. Mm, you won't really notice that. <laughs> so I'm going with one house. Oh, and I've got a little house there. So we could actually do a reflection on both of those. But yes, I think we'll leave the reflection with the brayer for another day. Okay. Because... Um, we'll do it on a quick craft. Yeah, we'll do it on a that. quick craft. Absolutely. Oh, well. Really? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It really just suddenly like brings it to life, yeah. I think, when you start stamping. Mine's looking like the northern lights and yours is looking like a sunset, which is what it's meant to be. No, it can be anything you want. It, it doesn't always have to turn out the way you no, intended no. it. Um, and I think that, that's the problem sometimes. You want to achieve something that you've seen and because it doesn't turn out exactly like it, you get very frustrated. Yeah. And I don't think you, you know, you need to look at the art for what it is when you've finished it. And actually, you know, give yourself a pat on the back, mm. Brody. Yeah. So. I think I would be upset if I, if I let things affect me with stamping, because quite often in, the, in this series, things don't really go to plan. No, they don't go to plan. <laughs> no, things in real life, Never go to plan. No. So we're living in the real world here. Right. Would that work for me? Well, you could try it. Well, I like honestly a, don't know. What about like I a dark, have we got like a dark purple? Try it, but I don't think you'll notice much difference against the black, to be honest. 
Um, another thing you could do is... It's quite dark, isn't it? Is yeah. it more bright one? Bright wouldn't work because mm. it's an ink, isn't it? So yeah. you'd only ever get an effect, a light colour over light card. Right. Yeah. Okay. So when, you, when you're using ink over a dark colour, yeah. it will never be true. Okay. Uh, the way to do that would be to emboss with a white or a light yellow uh, or a green yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. I am going to now use some foliage to go at the side here. I am going to use black, I think. I mean, you can very faintly see yeah. that it's purple yeah. if you look closely. You look really closely. Yeah. Really, really <laughs> closely. Yeah. So I'm just bringing a little bit of foliage in to just make mm. it look like, you know, a foreground, background kind of thing. Yeah, because a, a bit of perception as well. Yeah. It? A few blobs there as well, mm. so I'm just going to cover those up. All of the reflection in them. So yeah, obviously we're doing the trees as a reflection because they're really easy. They're not actually symmetrical, but you would never notice that. So um, we don't need to oh, worry about that. I've got one of those as well. That would be quite nice. I might do that in a bit of red. Or a bit of blue would be nice, blue. actually. A bit of oh, warm breeze. A bit true. How are you getting on? Good. It's coming together, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Not quite as quickly as yours as you fly ahead again. <laughs> I know, I'm just impatient, aren't I? Um, oh, I need to make room for my word. Um, what word do you use? Well, I've got here, what have I got here? Harmony. So I might go with that. I think there's more words behind you. So I'll leave that one up to you. Have you got the blue there, the twilight? I think that's black. I'm getting confused now. That maybe that one? Yeah, I think that looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I think it's always happened. Okay, right. I was going to put my houses there. That's fine, you put your I'm houses joking, there. I'm, <laughs> um, I'm going to put the lights I on. I am still going to stick house. my houses there, though. Yeah, we're, we're all having like little conversations with ourselves now. Yeah. Well, I was talking to you, but. Oh, were you? Sorry. You don't want to listen. <laughs> Just. Um, Just used a Posca on that because um, I missed a bit. So I'm going to put the lights on now in the house. So make sure my little yellow pen's working. And the Posca, because it's an acrylic paint, it will sit on top quite nicely of a dark colour. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then I'm storming mm, yeah. now. I oh know, you finished your company. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> <house. laughs> I'm going to use You've done the whole of me. I'm going to use Stardust now. And I'm just going to look at this. This is cool. Okay, I'll do one house just to try and keep up. No, no, one. it's fine. You do your two houses. <sighs> Honestly, it's fine. I'm sure our lovely customers watching this are going to be with you and patiently waiting. I oh, hope so. hope you're enjoying, guys. So, look at that. And, oh, that's good, isn't it? Like water. That's quite effective. Yeah, yeah I like that. That's good. Yeah. Happy with that. Are you finished? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give a little tree here. Another little tree. Oh, the... Oh, it's okay, actually. Genius moment. I can save it. Do you know how? You're going to put the reflection mm -hmm. cl closer to the bottom. Yeah. So put the the tree bit 
that's it. Even if it's not exactly right, it doesn't matter <laughs> at this point. So oh, oh well, look yeah. at that! I don't know whether you what can see that, guys. Um, but he he plotted the tree down here, so all he's done is just made that a little bit shorter there. So actually, in a in a glance, you wouldn't notice. No, but in water as well, with perception, it, it, it goes would further elongate. out, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. If that's the word, I don't know if that's the word. I have just... no idea. No idea. Um, right, so, a bit of pos... foreground. Do you want the Posca just to colour in that that bit of roof? Because yeah. you... it's not oh, quite... Because yeah. the Posca pen's great for um, this kind of thing, the black Posca. If you, if you miss a little of your silhouette image, that the Posca pen is great for touching it. To save the day. It just seems to be the right kind of black. What am I doing? Uh, this in blue? Um, no. Mm. Red? Mm. Or would go with green? Purple? I'd maybe go with that one. You need it to be quite dark, I would say. Yeah, because you don't want to draw your eyes away from them. No. Right, uh, oh, I want to do it again, wanna? Yeah. Wrong colour. It's looking good, that. I quite like the mist. Yeah, the same, it's, it's had uh, quite a nice effect. Yeah, yeah, it is a nice effect. I you wish you did on yours now. <laughs> you just try and take my card again at the end, <laughs> won't you? No, I'll tell you if I prefer yours. Which is probably most of the time. First down to my guidance. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not a wreath. No, you're not happy with wreaths. <laughs> I'm so bad at wreaths. No, we need to conquer that this Christmas. Oh no. Yeah, we need to conquer it. Yeah, there's definitely. I might have to retire my uh, art skills after this card. Why? So I don't have to do a wreath. No. <laughs> That's great, liking that. Yeah. Are you, are you picking, do you want a word? Do you want harmony or do you want a different word? Go on, I'll pick a different one just to be I think different. there's one down there. Just make sure you don't pick who to make Silence. Yeah, silence is quite nice. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. We don't have any owls in here. No. Okay, use your own block. Oh. <laughs> your block. <laughs> So I would I would maybe put it in the slightly in the yellow so it stands out yeah. either at the top or at the bottom. Mm. Like it, like Love it, it, like it. Love it. Do you want the lights Brilliant. on in the house? Oh, go on then. Oh, but if it's silence, it means no one's home. <laughs> That's like yeah, okay. Genius. No, like your dad, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do like little specks in there because then it looks. Oh, yeah, I don't think I did my reflection, but mine's not as clear as yours, to be fair. So I was making sure you can copy me again. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Um, nice. Well, didn't stickles? Do okay. Better stickles? Yeah, go on. Then. Show it's water. I'm getting really impressed with this one, though. Oh, I can't mess up now, can I? No. No. <gasps> You need to <laughs> you need to think about um, following that line, yeah. So keep it so that you oh, don't go right, diagonal. Yeah. Always I'm look at. Do it here. That's fine, but do, keep but keep. Oh, I got a plan. Yeah. Okay, just keep your eye on that line so that you keep it straight, because the last thing you want is it to be going down. It's just a bit wavy. That's fine. It's a bit choppy. It's a bit choppy. <laughs> Liking it. Yeah. Good. That's it. Nice. Cool. Lovely. Have a look. 
Happy days. I like that. Thanks. I like yours. I'll have to show the um, the gang yeah. after this one. See if they one. can guess. I, yeah, who's who's. that's what we do sometimes. We oh, we what's... take these in, and we get the team to guess whose is whose. I think we'll get them this time because I've got the green for once. Oh, yeah, <laughs> You're true. always green, even though we got there. Not so <laughs> I'm I'm really impressed with how you've done that, considering oh, it's the first you. time you've done it. Yeah, no, which it's, does it's... mean it's achievable. Oh, definitely. If I can do it, all you definitely can. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so that's yeah. Great. No, I think yeah. It was a I lot think. easier than I thought it was going to be. To be fair. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. The brush kind of does it for you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it kind of <laughs> <laughs> took over the whole page. But. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, guys, for watching today. Thanks for joining us. Thank um, you very much. And I hope it's inspired you uh, to have a go yourselves. We'd really like to see how you get on with the mop brushes with this technique. It's really easy and very effective. So, yes. yeah. Super easy. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 I think they've worked out really well. Yeah, I know. I didn't expect it to. Oh, when see? I first did that colour bit there, I was like, oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> here we go. We're going to start again. Hi, guys. We've been here.